Today I will be showing you how to use the light gunner in Noobs in Combat. Also, as a side note, I would like to mention that I've not forgot about the last episode in the Antarctic campaign, but I have just been busy, honestly. Here we'll do Guest Town Assault. In this case, I will also be using a transportation unit rather than just a supply wagon. Actually, we're also going to be doing the supply truck just because transportation and getting there is a much bigger deal on this map. This mostly just goes with knowing what map you're going to be doing. You're going to have a much, much higher success rate, which just makes sense. You know, knowledge is power. So we're going to be going with the transport truck just because I really want to show off the light gunner and not like the half tracks machine gun. And the transport truck is just the cheapest, obviously, and it still has a ton of transportation. And that's really all we want it for. We're real quick, just going to hop in and get started in this spot. Obviously, we're going to have the light gunner because it's the only thing I can spawn in, of course, just keep that in mind that sometimes you won't have quite as many options as you want in expert campaigns and such there are typically way more places to spawn your units but in easy ones if you're trying to do rig you might want to keep an eye on those and then do the transport truck which is very cheap 40 ticks being able to just get absolutely stacked with light gunners as you can see we got three in here and we got the light gunner in here we're gonna get the supply truck put another light gunner in there which we wouldn't normally do nearly this many light gunners but obviously i just need to show them off and an arm telly just for fun by the way the arm telly is so fun on this map you just fly over here you can just shoot rockets they have nothing to stop you and you hit something on basically all five squares also something i don't really like is the fact that we've got three light gunners in here and you can't tell whereas here you got one and you can obviously tell it just kind of annoys me all right now we do have a little bit of an issue we know that there are stuff in these bunkers which there almost always is but we are in a much better position to get rid of them than you would be if you were going with medium gunners as you can see we can run up here and you know we see the medium gunner if we had any kind of weapon on this vehicle which you usually do you could easily finish them off since they're low however in this case we send out the light gunner he's gonna get shot of course but we know he's low and he can attack and move in the same turn so we can just kill him easily it looks like we can't because they're in a bunker and have infinite health what the crap that is so powerful and completely just disproves my point but still in most cases if they're not in a bunker this will work pretty well unfortunately i've trapped my supply truck just gonna have to use this guy we're gonna fly up here just deal with these you usually will have a way of dealing with the medium gunners or whatever in the bunker that isn't light gunners outside of the bunker so i think it's not really cheating wait what the heck why can we see them now now that we have less people they're visible come on i don't know why i care but i do actually what we could do is send out another light gunner because i'm crazy these ones won't be damaged so they'll do higher damage and we can finish them off that way, we know this guy isn't going to get hurt anymore. But yeah, there are a lot of weird things you can do with transportation. If you have multiple units in there, you can make them move further than normal. You can make them jump out and multiple of them hit them as you just saw. It's just a lot of things that I'll probably cover if we get to the transportation units tree. Ooh, might have put that in multiple videos, depending on what I feel like doing, honestly. Okay, we can see that that medium gunner just shot this tank at last turn which means we don't have to deal with its ambush perk because we just saw it use the attack right also we do have to deal with these guys having literally no attack because they attacked last turn that is the light gunner cooldown we have to wait an additional turn so they won't be able to attack twice in one turn ever this is honestly quite annoying and makes the light gunner significantly worse but it is the cost of being able to have much much better and safer mobility we can go here and i've run into a bit of an issue i can't really be sure which light gunner is the one that still has an attack i believe it would be this one since he's at the bottom but we're just gonna have to hope unfortunately that is not the one so it's the other one with full health and that's just kind of annoying but i guess we can learn from that and it looks like they already killed them i guess that's annoying but i didn't remember getting any ticks so oh well and in case we can learn that it looks like the one that is highest up here is the unit that has been here the longest see even i'm learning stuff too i also don't really have a reason to use the arm telly anymore because uh, otherwise it's basically just cheating now also keep in mind the light gunners have way less ammo however that doesn't mean that you're going to be resupplying them more often just because they attack way less often unfortunately the ai is being dumb and not moving their tankettes so i won't 
won't be able to use the roads, so I move way less spaces. I can literally move one space with my supply truck. That is dumb. Currently, our goal should be to get a light gunner in here. Unfortunately, the tank can't move here, so that's going to be impossible. I freaking hate the AI sometimes. But if this wasn't here, our goal would be to get one of the light gunners in here because we know nothing's going to be able to get them. Though, that would be more the mentality if you're putting a medium gunner there. It's still helpful with the light gunner, even though it's much easier for him to reposition. We can go here, put down this light gunner, basically just drop all of them off because they aren't going to need the transport truck anymore. And something else you should just note about the transport truck is it isn't very strong, so it wouldn't provide a lot of value if you just made it go in the battlefield. It's really just going to make your units lose morale, but it is all right for putting next to a supply depot or whatever you need to protect just to waste another attack, especially if it's on a really hard campaign. Of course, keep in mind how many units are close and if it's worth losing the morale. Here, I'm faced with a choice. I can either double down and just leave my light gunners to themselves to figure it out, or I can put this one in here. He's the one with veteran C, so it's probably the best that I do with him. Move over here and put him here. Now, this is a bit annoying because I, like, left the transport truck over here, but it's all right. We can now move these other light gunners. Probably want to not move this one yet, just because I want to see if I can get him resupplied, because he is very low. We can also move this guy here. Now, he is providing some value. This is a really safe spot for him, because we know nothing can come from these two areas. We pretty much know nothing's going to come from this area, and if they come from the one area they can, right here, they're going to be stopped. They'll be stopped right here, but they'll also be stopped right here. And obviously, we know we can see all this area, so he's super safe, but also providing next to no value. We can then move this supply truck here, because we know that the light gunner will just be able to move close enough to get a resupply. And he's back at full health and almost full morale. Also note that you want the light gunners to not be positioned where I position them, because they can't shoot through this tankette, whereas they would be able to shoot through riflemen or just really any other infantry, which would make protecting them way easier. However, this setup is all right just because I know they will have ways of attacking these tankettes with rocket launchers and such that I wouldn't normally want to deal with and they will do next to nothing to the riflemen so overall even if the light gunners aren't the ones being super benefited it's still better to keep it this way which is a mentality you should think of having is well you want everything to be the best that it can some things are just better being at their best you know you want these tankettes to be alive more just because they're going to be more effective against all these riflemen we can do a kind of similar thing here where we can put the light gunner over here and he will have this spot covered. Now, this isn't a lot of value, admittedly, but the light gunner is extremely safe. One of the good things about the light gunner is that it's going to be much easier for it to escape. Obviously, this one attacked last turn, so we can't attack anymore and there's therefore no temptation to. Rather, you just know that you have to make him run away because, well, otherwise he's going to die. There's no reason not to. This light gunner, I'm going to keep in the same spot just because it's a really safe spot and moving will only really put him in danger because I can send this light gunner to go in the exact same dangerous spot and get the kill while keeping this light gunner completely safe. It's not perfect logic, but I think it's all right. Also, you can use light gunners to push sometimes like this. We can see that that might kill them. It's 71. Let's cross our fingers. Nope. I wish that it was accurate. That would be so, so nice, but it's not. So we just kind of lost the bet there. It rounded down, which sucks but what can you do about it? Also, we're about done with the map, so I'm just going to send the armed heli just because it's very fun to just nuke them with these uh, rockets. Yeah, that, that's the right one. Just going to send in this guy. He's not hitting everything, but he's still killing two units with that and maybe damaging something over here. There tends to be something. And though this rifleman is extremely low, it's still best just to make the light gunner retreat because otherwise these rifles could still pose a bit of an issue. We then move here. Doesn't really get rid of much space. We know that the riflemen won't be able to move that far, and if this tank head suddenly disappears, we know where they went. You can see here that the light gunner cannot be by itself. Even on this beginner map, that guy just got obliterated, because there's absolutely nothing they can use against armored units. Hold on, that animation kind of sick. I like that. 
Anyway, they aren't tankettes and such, don't even trigger the animation. Tankettes and armored vehicles in general don't even trigger their ambush perk. And even when they do use the attack, it does next to no damage at all. As you can see, it really did nothing. We're gonna wanna make this light gunner run away, even if the tankette could theoretically reach him if they wanted to. We also are posed with a bit of an issue. We could make this guy go forward and resupply the light gunner. That puts him in a pretty bad spot because the supply truck truck's armor is so low, the tankette might actually do some pretty bad damage. So even though now we have to actually weigh the options of putting the light gunner in danger instead, because this is a lot more important. We could put the light gunner back here, the supply depot, like this, or we could have left him there where he'd be a bit more safer. Unfortunately, that was a bad decision for me because I realized I don't even have the supply depot and therefore I have no control over it. Ah, fine. Ha, huh, funny. But yeah, he ended up attacking the supply depot. The AI does that sometimes. Absolutely do not rely on that. But it ended up going pretty well for us. Well, that's pretty much all I've got to say on the light gunner. But thanks for watching till the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will show whatever shoutouts we had on the last video.